What's up, Madden 25 Gamers? In this week's uh, Money Play of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at a play out of the New York Giants offensive playbook. And the play we're going to focus on this week is going to be the um, out of the wing trips to New York. It's going to be the Giants slot wheel. Um, a lot of players are like that in New York, and, and this is uh, and this is another uh, great opportunity to share with you guys uh, a play I don't see a lot of people talk about, um, and a play that I think deserves a little bit of uh, recognition in the Madden community. Uh, Giant slot wheel has some of the better traits of of plays in Madden, uh, especially Madden 25 with the wheel routes and the uh, delay blue drag route. So let's hop into this play and we'll break it down against uh, cover four, cover three, cover uh, two, and cover two man under uh, defensive coverages for this play. So um, basically we're going to make a couple adjustments to this play to make it work a little better in game. Uh, we're going to put DeMarco Murray on a wheel route um, and then we're going to put Des Bryant. Uh, a couple options here. You can leave him on that route. You could put him on a drag route uh, or you could just um, He's putting him on a smoke screen or whatever you want to want to do with him. He's kind of optional. Um, there's no real the only problem with this play is there's no real route to threaten the deep middle. So you could put Murray, Murray on a streak, but in my opinion, it it weakens the overall effectiveness of the play in the game. So, anyways, against cover four, um, your first read here is going to be the RB route, and typically, and there my controller is vibrating like it's its job. Let me turn that off real quick. But um, well, maybe I can't turn it off. Oh, I just got a new profile. Shoot. Well, looks like we're going to have to deal with the vibration. Unless I can... Yeah, I'll just hold it. Okay. So, anyway, um, that wheel route's our first read. Our second read is going to be uh, the wheel route on the left. And you see against cover four, it's going to it's gonna not do as good of a job. And, and you actually use your catch it. Uh, it's kind of hard to do when holding two controllers. Let's see if I can... See if I can do it here for you. But basically, the, the user catch is just the same, same, same thing you were doing last year with wheel, wheel routes, uh, and you just kind of cut them off. But it's not, as a, it's not as effective against cover four. So we would progress to our third read, which in this case would be Murray. So RB no, X no, and then Murray, we have him in the flats against cover four. Next read I like, uh, and the progression here is going to be Jason Witten coming across the middle. A lot of times, uh, right at the point where we're hitting Murray, Witten will be breaking wide open against zone coverages and man coverages. And then the last read uh, is Des Bryant's route, just coming across the middle. Uh, typically, not really a great route to throw, but it does a really good job in combination with all the other routes on this play. Next coverage we're going to focus on is a cover three. And uh, same reads here. Cover three is the really the only coverage that can give Miles Austin's route a, uh, a problem. But as you see there, we're easy, it's an easy completion against cover three. And then our second read, this is where this route really comes into uh, comes into play is co against cover three because we basically create a curl to flat concept with Murray holding that cover three zone. So we're kind of trying to play off that user catch here. Here you see it. And there you see there's the user catch that I was talking about. I just cut it off. And for some reason in this game, uh, zones don't react too well against, uh, against like bullet passes. So you can kind of get away with it this year. Last year it wouldn't have been a read I would have been completely for, but... This year is definitely something I'll really like to throw. Our third read is not going to be uh, as wide open against cover three, uh, but here you see we still can, uh, if we need to, throw it to him, but he's not kind of, you know, he's either going to drop it or it does have potential to get intercepted. Our fourth read is, is going to be open against cover three here, the, uh, the delay drag route, a really effective route in this game just to kind of keep the chains moving if we need it on third down short. And then our last route um, to Des Bryant here is going to be uh, similar to the way it was against cover four, you just gonna have to wait for him to split them, and you see sometimes he'll just cut underneath like that, and you can kind of get that separation. So that's against cover three. Let's take a look at it against um, cover two. So against cover two sink, uh, a lot of times RB will still be open. Uh, again, not as not as good uh, as a route in my opinion against cover three and cover two, just because they're trying to take away the flats. But you can throw it, and you're rarely ever gonna throw an interception on that route. Um, your second read is, again, uh, I really like it against cover two sink because of the way the user catch works. Uh, he just gets big and the corner doesn't, so we can just take advantage of that uh, and just play a user catch game. If we have, uh, we could put dead, you know, we could uh, address our roster so we could put Jason Witten over there, Des Bryant over there, someone with good catch and traffic. Our third read on this play is the wheel, and uh, it actually is really wide open against cover two. Uh, sink here. It's not as open against cover two with the light blues, but you'll know that when you're reading progressions. 
Our fourth read is going to be wide open again. Uh, this little drag route is just so effective. Uh, I like to bullet pass lead it to the left so that the zone, for some reason when you bullet pass throws this year, uh, the zones don't do a very good job of staying with it. And then our last read uh, against cover to sink is not always uh, wide open, but it does ha it just gets in a, a void, and we can just pass lead it open. So that's what I like about this play. And then the ultimate uh, coverage this year, two men under. And that's what this uh, really. That's why I really like this play a lot. Every route should beat two men under. Uh, starting with RB, our first read. Wait till he cuts up field, and you'll have a, a really nice, a really nice read against two men under. And then our route to Williams is is again unbumpable. Just pass lead it up. You don't even have to use or catch it. Typically, it'll get open against two men under. Um, there you saw the safety deliver a big hit, but uh, typically that won't happen. Uh, and, and normally that won't be able to be intercepted. So it's just uh, two quick reads to those wheel routes. And then our third read also beats two men under. Uh, the wheel route to the left just pass lead it open to the left. I like the th bullet pass at about 9 o'clock. Typically it will um, be wide open against man. The delay drag to the tight end is also going to be open against man. Again, a hard pass lead to the left. And uh, you're going to have a blocker there for Murray and uh, be able to get it filled pretty quickly. And then our last read, um, it's really going to be a late, late read. It gets pressed at the line of scrimmage and two men under. So typically, you know, this is like a last resort. But with a pass lead uh, to the left, you kind of just lob it. It can sometimes get open, but it's just it's something else. Um, another thing I really I would ra I would rather actually do this than the than what I just showed you. I'd rather just um, playmaker A's route back, but it's up to you. Um, Bryant's route's a little bit better against off coverage, so just note that. Okay, so now I want to take a look at this play against Cover Zero Blitz. Um, the first route on the play uh, beats man coverage, uh, as we well know. The second route on the play to Terrence Williams here on the left side wheel uh, will also beat the Cover Zero. Um, it's a little bit, uh, it's a route again, just wait till he cuts up field. And I like to use catch just to, just to kind of keep it, just to make sure that I don't have a, that they don't intercept it. But that's just my personality, um, because they won't intercept it really but like with routes and timing there's always that you know if they send heavy pressure or something you could potentially throw off your timing and you throw this route faster than you want and that happens right there where the computer just you know doesn't react and there's not a whole lot you can do about it and then you start to scream at me and, and post on my channel like you suck cody whatever well if you would use or catch it you're going to realize it's a hundred percent um almost every well Probably about 95%. I mean, nothing's 100% this year. The game plays really random, but it's pretty consistent that you can get that animation right there, and there's nothing that the defense would be able to do. Our third read on this play uh, kills the cover zero blitz. Just pass that to the left. Typically, he's going to have about 15, 20 yards of green grass for him to go. Our fourth read uh, is typically actually a little bit glitchy against cover zero blitz. You see he stays in, and then he just drops out, and the guy that's actually manned up on him will sometimes blitz. With that, with that heavy pressure blitz that they're already sending, so he'll be wide open in the, he'll just drop out wide open undetected. You see there, he blitzes 23, just blitzed, and Jason Witten just right on behind the blitz roasts it for a quick game. And then our last read against a cover zero pressure, typically we won't even have to get to it, but uh, with the pass lead in uh, to the left there, it's going to be uh, beat that cover zero man pressure. So. Thank you guys for watching today. This has been our second installment of the Money Play of the Week. Remember, this play is called the Giant Slot Wheel. It can be found in the Giant's Playbook, guys. This uh, and these this route combination, just one quick adjustment, easy to quick hike it, and and all that stuff you need to do. So be sure to add this route to your playbook and see what you can do with it in Madden 25. I appreciate you guys coming back and watching for another great uh, week of of Money Play of the Week. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for for, for more Madden 25 tips and tricks. If you guys are looking for defensive tips or defensive schemes or, or defensive philosophies or anything to do with defense if you're struggling with defense in the game as I know a lot of you are check out some of my defensive content it'll be in the description below some of my guides and it's all free content so be sure to subscribe so that you guys can at least get some free content from Madden 25 thanks for watching this week guys be sure to tune in next week we break down another money play out of the Chicago Bears playbook